Good afternoon, good afternoon. Levante, just talk about that defensive effort, especially early on in the game. Obviously, you knew they had some challenges on the outside, but stopping Saquon, obviously, is yeah. not easy. I mean, just the main thing we had to focus on was us, you know, get our stuff together, focus on what we got to get right defensively, and then uh, let everything take care of itself. We start running about other things, like what people are doing and stuff, like worry about what the offense is doing and stuff like that. You kind of lose track of what your job is, things like that. So uh, what we did was just settle in and figure out, like, what we got to do to fix ourselves, and we was able to do that for the most part today besides that big run, which is very disappointing. But uh, for the most part, I feel like we did what we were supposed to do and uh, made big plays when it counted. Delonte, you had that strip sack on Jalen Hurts when they were driving, which uh, gave the offense the ball back and allowed them to respond. Mm -hmm. Talk about like what you were going through in that moment and just how important it is to make play like that that can kind of turn the tide on those. Yeah, I mean, a play needed to be made, you know, and uh, my number was called on that certain play. You know, I was able to blitz and get a, get an opportunity to, you know, get one-on-one -on -one with the running back, which is the linebacker's dream. And uh, I was able to win and make a play on the football. So, uh, you know, uh, if I would never make that play, I wouldn't hit, hit the end of it from Coach Foot. So, uh, I definitely would have had to, you know, had to, uh, in my mind, the whole time in my mind, I'm saying, I got to win, I got to win, I got to win. And uh, I was able to do it. Levante, what was your message to your teammates uh, after last week being one of the leaders on this team? Yeah, I mean, not just me, it's a bunch of leaders, man. You know, we know we don't come out like that. You know, it was a very flat football game, no energy. And, you know, uh, we, we let the team beat us, you know, really like beat us up, you know what I'm saying? So they, they won that fight, you know, last week. But luckily, you know, we had another opportunity. You know, we had another uh, more changes throughout practice, throughout the week, to be able to you know focus on what we need to focus on and uh, get this opportunity right here. We knew that. More injuries this week than you did a week ago. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys come out today and, and play with so much fire? You know, it's just the next man up mentality, man. As simple as it sounds. You know, as simple as it sounds. You know, um, it's a next man up mentality. You know, a couple guys went down later than usual. You know, uh, J Mac went down earlier this week. And uh, Sterling Shepard stepped up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Trey Palmer, you know, those guys. And uh, defensively, you know, we was able to get Vita back, you know, fortunately, but we still was out, you know, still out uh, one of our best players on the football team, Antoine Winfield. So uh, Izzy's doing a good job of filling that role. And, um, you know, um, we just got to put, you know, keep the bullet, put a bullet in the chamber and keep firing, like my high school coach used to say, you know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what it is. You know, we got ample more of my talent in our locker room. And uh, when the next guy come in, he's just got to be able to pick it up. Lamonte, you went over 1,500 tackles today. You had 30 cost almost most of any inside linebacker in history. Um, how important are these numbers for you in terms of your legacy and uh, possible gold jacket? Yeah, I mean, the older I get, you know, the more it comes to realization how big of stuff that is. You know, when, the young, when I was younger, you know, I'm just out there playing football, having fun. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm still having fun right now. But uh, for those things to come up and, you know, I'm just hearing it from, you know, guys like you and then, you know, family members coming to me and saying stuff like it don't really hit me until I really just sit down and really like think about it. You know, it's an incredible feat. Um, just coming up, you know, kid from Miami, just wanting to play football just because I love the game, but ended up, you know, doing those type of things at a very high level is definitely a blessing. Uh, as always, man, I give glory to God. Uh, I thank my family for keeping me disciplined, keeping me on the right track and be able to, you know, support me playing the game that I love. Coming uh, kind of off of that, we're about a quarter away from the season here. You're flying around making plays still. How does your body feel and then how <coughs> mentally do you feel uh, with football and going forward? Uh, for the most part, man, my body feels good. You know, I think I'm doing a great job of uh, communicating with the staff and uh, they communicate with me, you know, keeping me intact and making sure I'm ready, you know, mentally and physically. You know, you know, right now, honestly, it's just a mental football game. You know, um, the way teams are playing right now, I'm going to be physical when you really have to be physical, but for the most part, I'm taking care of myself the way I'm supposed to. But uh, when I take care of my mental, I think everything else take care of itself. You had a game in uh, four days, and this was another physical contest. Mm -hmm. the, the heat out there, I'm sure your body's strained. Yeah. How do you avoid having that letdown that you had against Denver? Oh, uh, man, just everybody just coming in, knowing what we got. I mean, hopefully, you know, everybody knows it's a division opponent, you know, a great opponent, a quality opponent. So uh, hopefully that get people juices flowing and on the short week. Uh, we know we got to try to, you know, put a lot in as far as, you know, game planning and stuff like that. And then, you know, getting our bodies ready to go. And uh, I think Coach Bowles does a great job just, you know, getting us ready, you know, mentally and physically throughout these short weeks. So uh, everybody else got to do their part and take care of themselves and uh, be ready for Thursday. Lamont, before the game, you had a chance to catch up with Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that interaction like with him? It was fun, man. It was great getting a chance to see Tom again, man. He was happy. You know, it looked like he's happy doing what he's doing. You know, I love that for him, man. And, um... 
you know, obviously Tom is always welcome in, you know, Tampa, especially for what, you know, he brought to the city, you know, born brought to this organization and uh, what he brought to me, you know, being a football player, you know, how I was able to learn from him and uh, for him to teach me certain things and stuff like that. So um, definitely get a chance, to, a great chance to, you know, sit down and talk to him and have a couple of laughs and stuff like that and just see that he's doing well. So it was definitely great to see. Levante, have, have you left a lost a step at all? And if you so, how much do you make up for that with recognition? I mean, shoot, I'm playing every snap, so I don't feel like I lost a step yet. But, um, you know, it just feel good, man. It just feel good. You know, I always look at it as just a blessing to be out there. A lot of people would love to be in the same shoes that I'm in, so I just don't take this opportunity for granted. You know, every time I get a chance to step on the field, I thank God and I just get my best because I know a lot of people would love to be in my shoes. Well, you did miss last week. <laughs> yeah, I definitely <laughs> did miss that pick, and uh, that's something I got to hear from football. Yep. No problem.